Now, in the United Kingdom, politicians are struggling with crumbling supply chains from fuel to food to daily supplies. Almost every sector is witnessing a crunch. The fuel crisis is the most severe. Filling stations are still running dry. The situation is so bad that the government has deployed the military. What will they do? Drive fuel trucks. At least 200 troops will serve as lorry drivers to transport fuel. Here's a report. These are images from Hemel Hempstead, a small town located 39 kilometers from London. These are British military personnel preparing for their next big mission, delivering fuel to filling stations across the United Kingdom. That's right. The British Army has been deployed to ease the ongoing fuel crisis in the country. This is being called Operation Escalin. A contingency plan that will see troops serve as lorry drivers and transport fuel from distribution terminals to forecourts. At least 200 military personnel are taking part in this operation. They've all been trained at a domestic logistics company. Their mission started on Monday morning with the first truck leaving for London. Over the next few weeks, they will travel the length and breadth of England and replenish depleting fuel stocks. Will the military's intervention work? Not really. According to the government's own estimates, Britain is facing a shortage of 100,000 lorry drivers. This has left 26% of filling stations in the country entirely dry. The government insists the army will be able to stabilize the situation, but Britons are not keeping their hopes too high. That's my third petrol station, which I'm trying. So, it's just terrible. Nothing we can do about it. We just need to wait. I think it's hopeless, the situation. And I think it's terribly rude that they've asked, you know, people to come across and drive lorries until New Year's Eve. I think it's so rude. Um, maybe it's the British public overreacting, but people like me have got a job to do. It's, it's difficult, so I don't know. I really don't know what the answer is. So does Britain have a plan B? Yes, it does. Last week, the British government decided to relax immigration rules and recruit more drivers from abroad. At least 10,000 visas were expected to be issued. When you, when you look at the particular issue... But the British the, Prime Minister now seems to be in two minds. At a recent press conference, Boris Johnson said that he doesn't plan to go back to uncontrolled immigration. He would much rather let Britons do the job with higher wages. What let I me just, I'm sorry, Prime Minister, do, let me just come back to my original question, which you may have forgotten. The old uh, failed model my original of question, low wages, which you may have uh, forgotten. low skills, uh, supported is by Rishi uncontrolled right. immigration. What we would rather do is help people into better paid, better skilled jobs, which is what is happening, mm -hmm. investing in people's skills with lifetime skills guarantee, the kickstart schemes, massive investment in FE colleges, all the things that, that we're doing. I'd much rather see that. Andrew, than uh, raising taxes to subsidize low pay. Does that mean the new visa program will be junked? 10 Downing Street is yet to clarify, and this confusion is adding to the chaos. The crisis is no longer limited to fuel. It has appended all sorts of supply chains. Shelves at supermarkets are empty. Fast food chains are reporting a crunch. There's even a shortage of butchers and abattoirs. This has led to farmers warning the government of a forceful culling of 100,000 pigs. With these crises showing no signs of easing, tempers have begun to fray. On Sunday, hundreds of people hit the streets in Manchester, some holding flags of the European Union. They marched through the city, slamming the government for failing the country. We're here today because this government is totally incompetent. People are actually starving. Children are hungry. How can that be in this century? How can it be? Pressure is mounting on the British government, yet the gaps are far from being filled. Short-term fixes may help for now, but with winter coming, they may not last. You've seen me come every morning with my tax. You've seen me. Bureau Report, Rion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.